Hello, welcome to another one of my videos. So today I just want to talk about Boris Johnson. Um, <laughs> you know, after what happened whereby you have a position where the prime minister gets fined for lockdown party, for attending the lockdown party, uh, or it says breaking the rules that the government imposed. And it's interesting whereby people are expressing shock that Boris has got away with it. Well, I mean, he's just one of those politicians, rightly or wrongly, depending on the view you take, who normal rules do not apply to. Because when something happens, somebody like him, you, can't, you know, sometimes you have politicians that you can embarrass in, in a particular situation. They look embarrassed, they're struggling for their words or whatever, else. oh, not Boris does it in a way, tries to make it as charming or as insignificant as possible. And obviously for him, the war in Ukraine must be a gift, you know, must be like a gift in the sense that a party gate becomes seemingly insignificant and then you assert that there's a conflict going on and obviously you um, search your inner Chichilian uh, um, self and you are presented as a, as a war leader um, in times of crisis and therefore in times of crisis um, should not be replaced. It's interesting because, you know, I speak to different people who have uh, views about him, particularly strong negative views. And I'm always struck by how they keep expressing outrage and surprise and I'm not sure why they're surprised, because that's the nature of the sort of politician that uh, Bo is in, is because the normal rules do not seem to apply to him. And I know there are people who would say, oh, well, you know, there's no chance that he's, he might win the next election or whatever else. Um, and I think there's every chance, because in the end, when people come to vote, you start out from the starting point that most people do not particularly like or care for politicians. And often it's about which one of the two <laughs> do you detest more than the other, or which one do you particularly feel that you need to, um, you know, keep out. And I think where in a situation where the Conservatives do not have an apparent um, replacement for Boris, you know, which is different from when you had, you know, you look at different. Uh, politicians in the past where you could say, okay, I could, I, I, there's someone I can identify who might conceivably be a leader. Um, the options in relation to, that are available in Boris's case, regardless of any criticism, the criticisms that people may have of Boris, I just know um, not very endearing, if I can use that word. So the nature of politics, with the exception of Wilson, it always ends in tears. Either your party kicks you out or the electorate kicks you out. But I think, and, and I think when Boris's end comes, because it will have to come, because that's just the nature of things, um, it will probably happen quickly and decisively. But he's always been, a, as I would describe, a lucky uh, politician in that way, lucky. And just under pressure, finding ways to be able to fight. And he has people who are very supportive of him who would, fight even him getting the leadership after things that had happened before people thought okay well with Boris it, it just wouldn't happen too many people don't you know like him or you know or, you know he's got the backs of many people up and so why do you hear all the furore and all the cries you know and all that kind of thing I have to admit that I'm you know somewhat unmoved by it because I don't find any of it particularly um you know particularly um uh, surprising I'm, and, and I'm just not one of those people who's going to increase my blood pressure uh, time I'm still a politician. No, thank you. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.